And I also want to talk a little bit more about the Super 35 millimeter sensor in the Canon C110, and uh, which I kind of forgot to add for my first video, which is it uh, really is exceptional low light uh, for such a camera, and it actually goes to 20,000 ISO. And with an extended range, you can actually go up to 80,000 ISO. Obviously, that would be um, really overkill and plus you're going to introduce a lot of noise um, but you can actually get some wonderful low light pictures um, and like I said half the events that I uh, film is uh, usually inside buildings uh, wedding receptions that are very dark darkened rooms uh, and so on so this would be an exceptional camera to use for those occasions and of course, the dynamic range is excellent as well. Uh, if you use the uh, native ISO of 850, you can go up to 12 stops of dynamic range in either direction, uh, which is excellent as well. The downsides of the C100 is it does use consumer-based AVC HD codec at 24 megabits per second. It is still better than a standalone DSLR as far as H.264 encoding, uh, but still a bit limited. Um, also, it maxes out at 1080p at anywhere from 24 to 30 frames per second. It does have 60i, not great for slow motion, but I can show you a way to get around that later on. If you use cinema mode for Canon C Log, there is a way, um, since it darkens the viewfinder, there's a way you can brighten it up. It automatically applies a LUT to it to brighten it up, which is view assist. C100 does come with the one-shot autofocus. The dual pixel autofocus is a $500 add-on. We're going to take a look at both. We're going to take a look at the one-shot autofocus. Um, you have to go in the menu system if you have both, and then obviously choose the one-shot. And pushing the button in front of the Canon C100, and uh, if you do have the dual pixel upgrade, it actually increases the speed of the one-shot focus as well. Just like so, green square, you're good to go. Now the continuous autofocus mode, also available for the DSLR 7D, I believe. And uh, there is, you're showing autofocus right there, continuous. And uh, there you go. Next, we're going to look at the Push Auto Iris, um, which quickly adjusts exposure limit for your camera, which makes it great for run and gun. And you simply push that in and allow it to adjust exposure for you. And looking on the left-hand side of the viewfinder, you can see F13, and the exposure bar is also showing all the way to the left. Push that in, you'll see AF going to 5.6 aperture. And the exposure bar is showing almost to the uh, dead center. If you look at the top, you'll see an arrow pointing down. That's where the correct exposure should be.